o caminho. Dr. Newton! Oh, I'm in terrible pain. You've got to help me. Oh, oh, oh. 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 My success rate is oh. one tenth, and I already have nine unsuccessful uh, treatments, so for sure I am very confident. <laughs> very confident? Nine unsuccessful treatments? What happened to those nine unfortunate functions? Don't even ask. <laughs> but, but do not worry, tell me what happened. Oh, doctor, yesterday evening I decided I wanted to do some exercising. So I began with working on how I would be in some arguments. How would I be in some arguments? Well, you wanted to you calculate it, you also in some arguments? Indeed, indeed. Uh -huh. And I worked hard on this, boy, I worked hard on this. But this pain. Oh, wait, wait. You have to begin uh, little by little. You know, so systematically. Let me, tell me first your name. It is there, but please you can dictate me. So with it is pleasure. Okay. I am f of x okay. equals 3x to 4, equals 4x four cubed, four x cubed. equals 12x squared, Minus. plus 5. <laughs> oh, very nice function. I am pleased to say that I am one of the functions from James Stewart's calculus textbook. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. That's very I remarkable. Very so, so here is, you know, nowadays, almost all of uh, functions I call evo base. But 3x to 4 is minus 4x cubed minus 12x squared plus 5 is quite unique. So, so let's, uh, uh, perhaps you can tell me in which argument you were evaluating yourself yesterday. With pleasure. x okay. equals minus 1, okay, minus one. Zero, 0, 1, one. 2. Oh, I see. Okay, so, so let, let me think about this. Yeah, I think that, we, that I sh we should evaluate together eh, with this argument and see what will happen, okay? So, so this is, so f at minus 1, so let's think about this, so you give black minus 1, so you can actually see it. So and then f 0 is easy, you plug 0, you get 5. Okay, so you get 5. f at 1, so you plug 1 to every value, so you get f coefficients, and then you get minus 8. And f2, when you calculate faster, so, so that is actually minus 27. Ah! Oh! Oh, oh pain! Oh! 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 oh. oh. <laughs> okay, very, very simple. Okay, here again. <laughs> Don't base. I can't stop breathing. I'll die. Okay, then base, but slowly. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, kill one doing? pain with another pain. Now that hurts. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> it is. It, 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 this is. You know. It is very important. Zeta. Uh, we, we, have, we have to find, do you know when you are increasing and when you are decreasing? That's a difficult question, but I'll try to be helpful. Look, at minus one, I vanished. At zero, a little bit larger. But at two, I sink to minus 27. I'm so scared. Well, oh, don't be scared. Vanishing is a natural part of aging. <laughs> <laughs> But, 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 we, but we have to find out that when you are really increasing and when you are decreasing. So, um, okay, that is, you, you see, I think that, um, that we, we have to find, we have to make some, some tests. Don't be scared, but I think I will have to make uh, some derivative test. No, no, not the derivative test. It's, it's serious, isn't it? No, it's no, serious. no. Okay, but it is very easy. Just a little pinch, and it is all over. <laughs> all over, doctor. Hey. Yeah, just, just, just look here. Yeah, this is not, not so bad. We can just do it right now. So you take this derivative, f of x. This is twelve x cubed minus twelve x squared 
minus 24x. And that's it. You see, simple, almost painless. <laughs> that's fine, doctor. But what does it mean? Will I live? Well, that's not clear. <laughs> I, I you to really find out when you are increasing and when you are decreasing. So, uh, so how, so how shall we do it? So, so I think that we that we have to find some critical points. Hmm. So let me let me think about this. So, so, so how it is? So, so it is. I need to think how to, so I need to really calculate it, I need to factor it, I think. Let me first factor it, okay? So, so I think that this uh, derivative I need to factor, right? so get to find a critical point. So derivative of x equal 12, and here it will be 12x times x plus 1 times x minus 1. You see? So and this is the factorization of the derivative. <laughs> I'm not sure. I have to look. Let's see. Oh, do, do, do you are looking uh -huh. at my papers? Uh huh. Yes. Well, but when am I decreasing? What happens? When am I decreasing? You see, uh, when the derivative is positive, then you are increasing. When the derivative is negative, then you are decreasing. So we have to find when you are uh, in, when the derivative is positive and it's negative. But what happens if my derivative is zero? <laughs> you hit the nail in the wood! Well, there's no need to be violent. I hope that's not my coffin. <laughs> I don't know. We shall see. <laughs> so, but in any case, we have to really now find out about your critical points. as are dangerous points. So how do let me still think about this? How to find these critical points? Oh, did you see? Did you see what happened? Well, an apple fell to the ground. So what? Yeah, but it's amazing. Isn't it is amazing? There must be some force which attacks this apple to the ground. <laughs> yes, yes, that's just fine, doctor. But when am I decreasing? You see how she is. I am on the PowerPoint breaking discovery and all she asks about some critical points of where she is decreasing. Oh, okay, fine, that's fine. So the, you have to find this critical point, so the question is when the derivative equals zero. So that is the question. So, so now the derivative equals zero if either x equals the character factors, and the product is equals zero, so this means that either x equals zero, or x equals minus one, or x equals uh, two. So these are your critical points. Avoid them like in the place. You see, you, you no wonder that you felt such a shy points when you evaluated those of yesterday because you evaluated some of these points. Well, that is true, and especially at zero, I thought I would die. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's very dangerous. You see, because look, look at this point. Here, this is the x axis, and here is the y axis. Okay, so here you have like that. And here you have your points. Here is minus one, here is zero. One put is just for fun, and here is two. Okay, and then when you have something here on the left side of the minus one, then the derivative is negative because it's product of three negative numbers. So, the, so therefore you are decreasing and decreasing and decreasing until you reach here. But that's terrible news! Isn't there some hope, doctor? I can't live with this. I don't know. I really don't know. You know, it is a really bad. It is quite difficult because here you go from minus infinity, then somewhere here is minus infinity to minus one, and look what happened. Like decreasing, 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 until finally you age minus one, and then you vanish. But don't worry. <laughs> I vanish? And you say do not worry? What would you do if you vanished? How would you feel? I'm not so good. Uh, definitely, I wouldn't be uh, so alive as I am today. <laughs> so, so, but you know, but there is some very good news. I have some good news for you. Because this interval actually minus one zero is a happy interval for you. Because at that time, derivative, it will be product of two negative numbers, so it's positive. And so you will actually increase from here and increase and it will be positive until you reach point zero five. 
Oh, finally some positive news. Oh, I'm so cheered up. Yeah, but um, unfortunately, <laughs> I have some another news for you. Because this interval 0, 2 is not so good. Uh -huh. uh, uh, that is because, you see, on this interval, you get derivative will be negative, and you will decrease and decrease <laughs> until you reach 2, and the point 2 minus 27. But this is terrible news, and I was just cheering up. I felt so good. Well, that is the life. Up <laughs> and down, up and down. Oh, down and uh, up, over the right. But, but here, I have some really good news. Do you know what this good news? No. She laughs at the end, laugh the best. Because you will be now laughing. Because look, from this time on, your derivative is positive and you will be increasing, increasing. And so when growing for you overcome negativity here, you will become positive, and then you will be happy forever after. Are you sure? I'm sure. Dr. Newton! Thank you. You are such a sweet doctor, and you're a genius. Did you invent calculus? Yes, I did. But but uh, but Leibniz and Benoli, they might say otherwise. They might claim otherwise. It was a fun, you know. It was I was young, full of energy, and I, I love it. I this is calculus such a wonderful thing. It was so good to do it, and so. But uh, you you know, I disagree with Shakespeare, who told that the youth is wasted on the young. On the other hand. I wish I was still young. He is. <laughs>